Hey people, welcome back. More Vitamin Y. So today is Wednesday and that means you're using Ubelix C. So, crossing my fingers, hoping for some easy duels. Alright, your rating seems higher than I would like for an easy duel. It seems like you got some rating under your belt. It seems like you know what you're doing, you know? Whether you just bust it up into rated and, you know, using the top decks or whatever, you seem like you know what you're doing. You know, this, uh, for some reason with this deck, I hope that I get some easy duels so I can do my plays and not have to worry about just getting completely ruffled, stomped by my damn opponent. But, because uh, this deck's one of the slower decks in, uh, in Vitamin Y here. It's one of the slower ones. This hand is okay. I mean, thank God I got the Dark Ripper to handle you bell because if I didn't, I'd be pissed off because, you know, I was like, oh, I'm going to get him, I draw you bell with a revival card. It's like, ah, oh, well, I'd love for you to blind space me, but. Uh, yeah. We're gonna take a little slow. I could, I could, you know, overextend and special summon pitch and, you know, pretty much get rid of my entire hand. Oh, wow, and do you want me to fucking draw you bell too? Like, hello? You want me to draw to a nightmare too? Like, yeah, you can go fuck yourself. Um, I'm gonna send, I'm gonna send, yeah, I'm gonna send Harris. And the reason I'm gonna send her is not only so I can get my, uh, Nefarious Archer Nefariousness, but, uh, as another level for you both sees, because, you know, it's level three. So, there we go, I'm go ahead and set the Call of the Haunted, and then my turn. Alright, so, let's see what our opponent is. One back row. Blind space me, okay, I will go ahead and chain. I, I, don't, I don't understand the point. I don't understand the point of setting a card and then playing MST. Because if my face down was MST, I could chain to your MST and target the face down that you just set, you know? I, set main phase two, people. Main phase two, set. Don't, there's no, there's no need to go ahead and set a card, main phase one. You know, if it's a quick play spell and you set a main phase one, you can't play it, trap card, same thing. So set main phase two, you know? And if you're gonna blind space, blind space first. Don't set in blind space, because if I have a space, then I'm gonna chain that space and hit your card that you just set. And what would be the point of that, you know? That, it would be, it would be bad. You don't want that to happen. So, you know, hope you guys learned a bit, some lessons in Yu-Gi-Oh. You guys probably know I play Yu-Gi-Oh. Some of these people need to learn how to play some Yu-Gi-Oh. But yeah, I just don't see the point of him doing that play that he just did. You know, he's lucky that I didn't have the MST. Oh, Mermels. All right, well, this duel should be interesting, to say the least. To say the least. Oh, you're going to get charged. Okay. Don't see a lot of turge. I think they may maybe play like one. They pitch the turge for another TS. Yep, you open up double TS. All right. Oh, you don't get the effect of that. No, no. I can get out of the Y. You can only use the effect of TS once per turn. So put that Lin back. <sighs> Show me the Lin, because you didn't have to quit. The play, the game wasn't an irreparable game state. All you had to do was summon the Lin, put it back in the deck, and shuffle. That's all you had to do. You didn't have to fucking quit. You know, the state was the, the game state was not irreparable. You know, the play would have never went through if you were using like some kind of like you know like number generator. I mean, not number generator, a dead pro or a wide pro, because this is also number generator. A dead pro or a wide pro, you just wouldn't have got your effect, so. I guess the only way your the game state would be, you know, terrible is because you, you know, you shuffled up your deck when you weren't supposed to, but. Besides that, I wasn't gonna fucking be all OCD. I was gonna be OCD because you were trying to do something that I was totally not gonna allow. Like, oh yeah, just let him plus when he's not supposed to be plus. I'm like, no, 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 no. Let's pretend. But you didn't have to quit. That wasn't necessary. It's hoping your hands decent, decent. You know? Classic play Armageddon Knight send you bell set to limit reverse. Classic play. So uh, if you want to go ahead and uh, blind space me, go ahead. Breeze Dragon can someone also also summon you bell. Uh, really can't do much with dark reference unless I draw dark. Hopefully I draw dark. You know, like level eater. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Drawing level leader, that's, that's a card I run at 1, so if you allow me to draw level leader, I can just summon Greg Greffer, pitch level leader. Let's probably send Harris, go ahead and search me, and then I'll have all the different levels in the graveyard. 
All right. What you gonna do, sir? You drew, and now we're just kind of sitting here. Are you, are you gonna take your turn, sir? Okay. I'm not a strickler on this whole standby phase, main phase thing. You know what I'm doing. You know, I, I don't. I don't sit there and announce it in real life, now do I? Oh, black wings. Okay. This duel's gonna be a pain in the dick. Definitely a pain in the dick. I'll take the 200. I'll take the 19. Probably wanna. Oh, you could summon your bell to block the attack. Yeah, but then he could go ahead and do something main phase. Main phase, uh. Two. So I'll go ahead and just take that. Yep. An ass rape ton of back row. Hmm. I'm trying to think. If I go summon the burst dragon and I say effect, and he chains the Icarus and he targets my two cards, I can chain them in reverse and still get tear. So, all right. So, back. I hate doing against black wings because they run an ass ton of back row. Like, I hate back row so much. You know, it, it's probably one that I think it's. Is it the main thing that I hate about Yu-Gi-Oh? I think it might be. Oh well, let me go ahead and go to main phase. I think it might be. I think I think you no. Know, I there's it should a card game shouldn't be that there's so much just one up with back row that you can literally beat your opponent because you one them up with back row they don't get to play shit and you win. Like that, that's you know, a little bit, that's fine, but you know, you should just draw the line at some point, you know. It's just like, oh well, mirror force, deep prison, bottomless, this card, that card, this card, that card, this card, that card. Oh, you never you run out of resources, you know? Because that, because uh, that's the exchange. That's the exchange. It's, it's not really called one. It's called one up because you will still have monsters to play. You know. That's why it's called one up. Well, I would love to go ahead and just crash my fucking Ubel into their mon his monster and uh, and you know do that. That'd be awesome. But the problem with doing that is, of course, he might have Black Sonic. Like I said, I I hate Black Wings because they have. Some of the best back row, like Icarus Attack, Black Sonic, uh, Anti Reverse. Like, this, this deck is just yeah. <laughs> definitely my, not my cup of tea. I'm just gonna go ahead and run. I thought he was gonna maybe do something to me. You know, I'm worried about the Black Sonic, but now I gotta worry about Castell, which Castell is, of course, a wing base, so he can go ahead and Icarus Attack the Castell. You know, so, XE Castell, spin me back. I didn't know the thing. I was thinking about doing the whole debris dragon thing. I was thinking about maybe using an acres attack me. I was thinking about a couple of things, but a lot of pressure with the back row. There's just too much of it in, in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh. You know, no other card game does back row like Yu-Gi-Oh. It's kind of ridiculous, really. Yeah. You got people who love back row so much that they just hate the existence of freaking uh, Royal Decree. They just they, they want Royal Decree gone. They're like fuck Royal Decree. Like oh damn. You act like fucking Royal Decree's running around beating the tits. Like, not even. Castell would be the best. I could see him Castell spin my, back my Ubel back to the deck. Of course, I you know, committed to setting up and fuck me up. Okay. You can go ahead and can you synchro summon this or any black wing? Does it have to be? I guess not. Yeah, go into our mateys, run over my Ubel. I don't get my effect. Still, it would be kind of interesting if he didn't have all that back row. So I, I kind of feel like the games are more interesting without back row. Okay. Um, let's say, does, does the Synchro Monster have to bleed Blackwing?
Okay. Go ahead. Not much I can do right now. And I said if I attack him and get Black Sonic, but if I don't commit to anything, then he can easily. He should have made an Armadius. I don't know why he didn't. I don't even know what Grandma is even supposed to be doing. You know, you didn't even have any cards in your hand to even special summon, so. I don't even get the point of doing what you just did at all. I don't. Nope. Ugh. Go activate, summon, summon XC. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. We'd be even. Ugh. I'm surprised to see him up on resources right now. Or even. I'll be even with him. It's because of the Call of the Haunted. The Call of the Haunted went away when I exceed. Maybe we could talk, but it doesn't. Well, I still can't really commit to anything. Think about maybe tr attempting the Exiton, but even that right now is. I can't even do that right now. Yeah, he can kill my Yvel. Well, my effect is negated, it's just. I will get terror unless you have something to stop that, you know. Hey, if you want to go ahead and slip up Pickard's attack, destroy my cards, I really don't care. Of course, I won't get Armageddon now even if I chain, because the Armageddon has to be on the field to resolve, so. He's looking at his extra deck, like I said. That whole Synchro Summon play, that was just kind of odd. So you're a Blackwing player, but you're not a good one. <laughs> you're clearly not a good one. Like I said, think how, think how different. Think how different this would be if none of this back row is here. Like, none of it. You know, I would be committing to a lot more plays. I'd be doing a lot more combos. So. Right now, I don't trust that Black... Uh, especially Black Wings. Especially Black Wings. Like, Black Wings are probably one of the biggest culprits when it comes to back row. Because they have such good fucking traps. Did you see the from there? I don't know. I'm sitting there looking at his deck from that cabinet. Fucking flashbacks, like nigga, you, how long do you have to sit there and look in your extra deck? It's not like it's gonna fucking change all of a sudden. That's the last time you fucking sat here for a couple seconds and looked at it. Ow. Something interesting in there? <laughs> Wanna speed it up? God. I'm sitting, I'm sitting here, just sitting here, watching you look in your damn extra deck. Like, literally, if we were at a tournament, and I was sitting across the table from you, and you were just like, Look at my extra deck. I'm looking at my extra deck. Like, nigga, you made the extra deck. You should have a general idea of what's in there, but you're seriously fucking looking in there, as if, as if something's gonna magic, if you look hard enough, something's gonna magically appear in there that can handle the situation. Nigga, if you got it in your extra deck, then fucking use it. If you don't, then fucking let's continue this damn duel. Like, please. Oh my god. This man. Mm-hmm. He's just sitting there looking in the extra deck like, hurry, just shut up. Okay. Guy is taking forever. Okay, that's fine. Mm hmm. It's not like I can, unless, you know, you already come into Synchro's Inherent Summon, can't start a chain to it. Can't, like, be like, oh, you know, and I didn't respond to the Blizzard Summon, nor did I summon spawn to the <sighs> Zephyr Summon. Seeking for six. Alright. Going for nothing. Ask me. Can't 
Can't really do nothing with that either. God. I wouldn't my kingdom for exit taunting. But like I said, I'd still be up. Best thing I could do right now is just set a monster, let him attack over it. That way I'll be down on resources and then I can exit on. <sighs> okay. Let's call this guy nothing. <laughs> nothing? <laughs> this guy, who's this guy? Oh, he's nothing. <laughs> So that's the that's the plan right now. Allow him to kill my masculine so I'll be down. And then try to exit time. Alright, so if I go activate call haunted summon summon XC, I'll have one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, he'll be up. They call haunted. Okay. He really does not want to kill my email. Like like I'm really surprised with all the cards you have and all the background and all the things that you have, you really can't, you know, deal with tear. I mean you bell. Oh, well, fuck it. I'm gonna push. If the worst comes to worst, at least I'm again I will be able to send another monster so I can start using these messages in the bottle. I still need one more level, so I'll go ahead. I'm not gonna send Harris, I'll send Level Eater. Because if I send Harris and I get my Nefarious Arch and Nefariousness, then I'll be even with resources, so. I don't want that. I wanna be down. Okay. Leader. Almost seven. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. I am uh, down on resources because you killed my masculine. Okay. See if I can clear up all of that. You got four background. Let's see what it is. I'm thinking maybe there's a black Sonic. I'm surprised you didn't Icarus attack me. At this point, Icarus attack doesn't really matter. Um, okay. Okay, that doesn't matter. Okay, that still doesn't change the fact that I'm still... Yeah, at activation. Okay. Okay, that resolves. Okay. You put the rest in there. Alright. Rest of it's gone. I'm gonna make sure it's He doesn't have to be on the field to resolve his effect. And then at activation, I was up on resources, so it doesn't even matter if you change your Icarus attack. Yeah, it does. I summoned Exit Pond. You had no response. I went effect, you went chain, you're still up, the field is white. Exiton doesn't have to be on the field to resolve. He gets bottomless all the fucking time. <sighs> yep, I knew it. I knew the black song back there. And Yubel is the last thing. Is it Yubel the last thing after resolving the chain? Hold on, let me think. Someone, someone, someone. You want chain? Pop, pop, pop. X tongue of love. 
I think I don't think I get email. It's it's cool. I don't I don't need email. I don't need email. That's also a main phase of money. I don't need email. Um Yeah, I'll just go ahead and set some verse. That's you. Surprise, surprise, more background. Well, the thing is, this background is not really a threat now, is it? How many different levels do I have? Not enough. Uh, my kingdom for drawing frickin' uh, Galaxy Queen's Light. I could go for Super Chocolate Fudge Cutter, I'm trying to think. Activate when we're summoning you, but then I'd only have you and you, so. Yeah. All right, there's Galaxy Wizard. There we go. Now I can activate Galaxy Queen's Light. I don't have to worry about Icarus Attack, Black Sonic. Oh, it's a normal summon. Effect. Go ahead and tribute yourself. I said, see, look. I wipe his back row, and what's he play? More back row. Like, this deck is back row dot deck. Activate Message in a Bottle. Go ahead and summon Bell. Level Eater. Armageddon Knight. I will activate Galaxy Queen's Light. All 10. Let's go for Super Chocolate Fletch Cover. Yeah, my opponent wants to set an ass ton of back row. Let's just go for Super Chocolate Fudge Covered. Effect. Detach your bell. Wipe it. Yep, I knew there was like there's Necros attack. I did not know the pinpoint guard. And anti reverse. Alright. Good. Ass ton of back row. And Black Wings have a terrible top deck game, so um, I think I won this duel. Yep. I think I have won this duel. Nah, go ahead. I'm cool. Draw. Your best draw would be Blizzard, and that's not even that good. Gale can cut me in half, but I'm still too strong. Yeah, that's what I said. So I thought. Ugh, so much back row. Whew. Yeah. <coughs> I'm trying to think if he would have done that Icarus attack on summon. If he would have done the Icarus attack on summon, like I I'd seen the X taunt and then on summon he went he went Icarus attack and he tributed his monster, then I wouldn't have been able to chain the Exiton because we would have been even in the resources, but he didn't. Yeah. He kinda let a couple of things go. Yeah. To tell you the truth, he should have just Exitoned me as soon I mean he should have Icarus attacked me as soon as I had the two level four monsters on the field. I don't know why he didn't. No. So like C said effect, and then he chained. When I activated my effect, when I went X ton effect detach, I was he was up on resources. We would have been even uh, even on resources because he would have chained his. Like I said, I would have summoned and went to X ton. Before I can even activate my effect, he would have went uh, activate a crystal track, tribute his monster, and then after he tributed his monster, then I could respond with a chain. In which case, X ton wouldn't be able to chain to his Icarus attack because we've been even in resources. So. That's the difference. Anyway, Yu-Gi-Oh! Ton of back row. I don't like it. So, there we go. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow using uh, Cosmic Ebell. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching.